The Kings Park Arena in Bueyogere, just a few kilometers out of out of the capital Kampala, is our stage today for round four of the Nile Special Rugby Championship, a crunch tie, the big one of the weekend between the Stanbic Black Pirates and the Ginger Hippos. What makes this a very high build game is. The fact that Ginger Hippos have had an exciting run of form against the perennial top three in Ugandan rugby. Cubs, they beat in the first round. Heathens, they drew with in the fourth round. And now today, the Black Pirates know what to expect. Against this rampaging team from Ginger that have shaken up the status quo took over best of the rest from mongas and buffaloes and now they have set their eyes on going into the top three our center referee for today umar balikanda the 2023 referee of the year is ready to go the teams are ready to go as well you have seen was in the number 15 just they will be getting us underway for the hippos kicking off from left from right to left on your screens and the Black Pirates will be having first possession. That man there, youngster, Brandon Keba, first on the ball. But also, Hippos get the first penalty, first possession. And captain, Aziz Bagalana, points to the uprights. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this broadcast on Kawawa Sports YouTube. My name is Ernest Akurebi Runji on commentary today. Yasin Waswa had a 22% success rate of the T last weekend against Hippos, below the standard that he has set for himself. And he starts on a lot on today as he sends that attempt wide off the upright. Owen Gogo now on the counter attack after that long clearance by William Nkore as this Bagalana puts it high up in the air gathered by Haruna Mohamed who returns the favor running and chasing that ball alongside Arnold Atokunda who wrestles to bring down Eliphaz Among and as this Bagalana will be going to the forwards now Fahad Maido and then the box kick as a second option. William Nkore under it. William Nkore back into the playing squad, having pulled out of the Sevens team, training for the Sevens Challenger in Montevideo, coming up in two weeks. Nathan Bambale now carrying it straight through the middle, breaking tackles for fun and still going strong onto the 10. Conrad Wanyama picks, finds Nkore. 
Nkore skips to the captain, Frank Chidega. Chidega with Humphrey Tashobia. Or rather, Kamiza Jones. Kamiza Jones deploys Timothy Odong, who is forced into touch by the hippos. And line out's been taken quickly, but referee says we'll go back to the mark. And turn stuff from both teams. Early today, clear skies. The grass looking well mowed. But we shall have our first stoppage in play to attend to Fahad Maido, who I think got injured in that first carry. He made uh, around that zone. There's that hippo's bench. And of course, in short, there is Fidel Aremo came off the bench to score a beautiful try for the hippos against Heathens last weekend in that 20 all draw. And we shall have a first look as well at the Pirates bench. At the back is Raymond Lubega sitting alongside Jeremiah Josenu. And of course, the man of the moment, Pajo Bedga, making a return to rugby after a long time on the sidelines. Still not fit enough, the heavy man, to play 80, meters, 80 minutes. So he will be taking it one game at a time, one minute at a time before he gets ready to compete for the 80 minutes. Maido is back on his feet, but with a slight limp on his right step. And that means we are ready to go play. He's going to resume with uh, Hippo's line out just on their 22 meter line. Paul Serengeti to throw. Lots of motion goes up to Julius Opio, the go to man for all their line out plays. Now to the box. Bruno Chisule at the wing, caught by the midfield partnership of Mulindwa and Kamiza. And now Opio on the loop, looking for work on the outside edge. It's a good box kick there by Aziz Bagalana, the wind. Changes course in the air, but it lands in the path of Frank Chidega, who gathers well. Long ball to Ivan Kabagambe, who throws an equally long pass out to Humphrey Tashobia. Tashobia finds Timothy Odong at the wing. Odong cutting back inside, still on his feet and wrestling forward. Brought down by Sean Mubiru. Haruna Mohamed at the, at the halfback position finds Brendan Keba straight into Elifaz Zemong. And the monk contesting at that breakdown, forcing a turnover for the hippos, but they lose it forward at the back of that breakdown. <laughs> Frustration <laughs> on Marvin Odong, the coach's face. He has to take a sip of water. He's not pleased with how his players are taking care of that ball. Last weekend at Dam Waters, the breakdown was one of the most contested areas in that game between Hippos and Heathens. Hippos getting the advantage at the end of the day to scramble a draw from the jaws of defeat. What do the Black Pirates do now with this set play? The ball is at the feet of Sydney Gongodio at the back of that scrum, and the hand goes out for the advantage. Gongodio picks, decides to go alone into the 22, brought down by Isaac Rujumba. Now, Bambale, scanning for options, drops his weight on Julius Opio. Corey to the short side. Gongodio again, fends off Owen Mugogo. Recycled quickly, Wanyama, back inside to Wanyama. Looked like it was forward. 
but the hippos have given away a penalty. And they call for the scrum again. The Pirates. This is one of their best attacking platforms. This set is always with an uh, interesting backline move. But when the Outside. big men put in the work, they can gain some good meters forward. Okay, let's go second. Get in, get in. Crowd! The hand goes out again for a scrum advantage and a full penalty. This time the hippos on the knee. stand their ground, but they get a foot to the ground. Five suffering. Early in this game, five minutes on the clock. That's a moment. To his Shin or the uncle and Edmond Charisma, the head coach of the Hippos, has been forced into an early change. Brings on James Okello. You've got to feel for my dog. Barely five minutes played and he's been forced to go off. He's not happy with the way the Pirates think he appears to not be pleased with how they've contested at that breakdown. But on comes James Okello, an experienced scrummager from the Rhinos cross to Ginger Hippos at the start of the 2021 season and you can still see from here my view in the commentary both Maido is not pleased with having to jump off he appears to claim that he was being twisted and turned by his opposite number I think that Alema Rueza but play has resumed with another pirate scrum it's back at the feet of Sydney Gongodio, three penalty advantages. Maybe this time they will be successful. Maybe this time Umar Balikanda will be punishing the hippos even more. Do the pirates keep knocking at the hippos door or do they make a change in plans they have interesting set plays Lexi, what's your play? and goes line and from the line out okay we play. they decide this time to go they for the line ah, the line, to the line eh? point to the corner Captain, Maruna, Mohamed, tell the coach I want it straight about eh? five meters we out we talked about this in the group come eh? come. straight push push okay, five man <laughs> straight push <laughs> him yeah pirates yeah. Come here. Yeah. 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 But only as far as Haruna Mohamed at halfway. Haruna Mohamed damming and playing around with the opposition. Finds Nkore. Nkore finds Wanyama who toys with Okello. And Okello brings him down ferociously. Kongodio now at the back of that rack. Tackled by Julius Opio. It's a dominant tackle from Opio. And Pirates have to slow down a bit. They are looking for that box kick. Wanyama goes high chest by Arnold Atukunda contests in the air against Andro Diambo Diambo gets his hands on the ball but Arnold brings him down inside the 22 the 
seen Wasa will be going for the box kick as well. It's an interesting kicking game between the two teams. They have the best counter-attacking plays in Ugandan rugby. Haruna Mohamed now going alone, tackled by his bootlaces. No, ball is there. Ball just pops up onto the side of the hippos in the hands of Serengiti. Serengiti is still playing on and Fonda forces him into touch, but the whistle has already gone for that no forward. Knock on. Knock on. Yes. No, no, that one's outside. In as many minutes. Yeah. Looking to the referee, trying to make his case. Guys. Okay. Just, just move up. Move here. Yes. Seconds, let's go. Let's go. Three, two, one. Seconds. Seconds. Three, two. Three, two, one. Round. Bye. The best of friends. Set. Hold. Thank you. Doing some mind games. Okay, keep up. Okay, it's done. Okay. Started early on in this game now. Waffle. Running straight Ready. into the number 10 Ready. channel. Pakalana, Mugogo. Mugogo found by Mulindwa. This is Pakalana. Sit up in the air. He's the captain of the day. Conrad Wanyama is a short man. The ball is missed by him and all the other chasing players. But the Pirates have advantage after Opio lost that ball in the air. Down again. People are trying to make a mess of it as okay. much as they can. They forced the game over. The advantage handling error in the air. Ten minutes on the clock. Still nil nil between the pirates and the hippos the sun has been giving this whole week a couple of days the week before these players will be surely feeling the whole of it as sydney gongodio Drops Andrew Diambo to the floor. What a dominant carry from Gongodio. Now Mulindwa, the youngster Frederick, isolated. Kore secures the ball at that rock. Now Arnold Atkunda, the speedster, trying to cut past Bruno Kisule. Caught at the edge of the field. Wanyama alone at the breakdown and forced back by Kisule. Turnover play by the Hippos. And Aziz Bagalana has picked his first victim on the day. And Haruna Mohamed. Lots of hostilities between these two teams. From the youngsters, Aziz Bagalana. <laughs> and now Yasin Waswa. The referee will have a word with Haruna Mohamed. Aziz, of course the captain. Come, captain. Aziz Bagalana. Aruna Mohamed will have his. Okay, guys. Eh? Whatever side. happened here is not part of the game. Okay. Let Clean up your play and we play it safe. No, no, no. Whatever happened is not part of the game. Okay. okay Clean it up rugby. and play rugby. Okay. Let's play rugby. Yeah? Good. Move. I like that. Clean it up and play rugby. Squeeze. Yeah. Squeeze. Kumar Balikanda. Enough of the boys being boys. 40 minutes of serious business. Yeah? Numbers! 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 Yeah. Yeah. Line is the mark. We're all off the line. A 
a bit angled towards the hippo side, but well gathered and stolen by Sydney Gongodio. But he gives her a penalty at that breakdown. Turnover one by Sean Mubiru. First on the ball. Pirates will need to be wary of how What's your play? smart hippos are at the breakdown. It's end to end stuff between the two teams, but hippos are winning the small battles one by one. They advance an extra 10 meters on the line out from that penalty. How is it? How is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's hear. Let's hear. Throw a better ball this time. It's a seven man line out. Okay. All the forwards in. Go over. To front to Andrew Yambo. Okay. Step back. Now Wako. Really? Really? The Mongol is flanked back to the short side. Jump to Kelo. Front row on yeah. front row. Yeah. Alema Rueza makes the tackle. Elifaz the Mong. Bends down. Tackle. Frank Chidega. What a hit. Now Siringiti. He really? well Stop. inside the 22 Away. now. Back to the short side. The forwards are working. Sean Mubiru. Brought down by his opposite number, Ivan Kawagambe. Now Odiambo again. And Conrad Wanyama has his hands on the ball. Has he won that turnover? Referee says, play on. Then the long pass out to the box now. Silva Kenyi through the middle. But Brendan Keba had that space covered. And now, Okello ball bounces in front of him. And the handling error. Hippos commit their first error in attack. And Pirates will be taking a breather after that extended period of defense. Heavy carries from Ginger Hippo with intention, especially from that front row. Sean Mubiru and, and James Okello. But an equally good response from Ivan Kabagambi and Alema Rueza. Okay, we go. On Time is for back. The Pirates. On. Yeah. Black ball. There's that strong carry again from James Okello. And then Conrad Wanyama, for a moment, had, it, had his hands on the ball. And there's a Mong on Frank Chidega. Chidega was as low as possible, but a Mong, my oh my, what a carry. Wanyama feeds, and Pirates get another scrum yeah, penalty. Second rows. Okay. Second rows are collapsing. Okay, him. Okay, yeah. Ten, ten meters back. Second rows this time guilty of collapsing that set piece. Numbers! Numbers! Pirates, five minutes. Five minutes is a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. Two captains. Quite, yeah. Andrew Odiambo have yeah. not given yeah. Andrew Odiambo and Frank Chidega have not given the referee a single break. Who is talking to him? You're done? Yeah, you work with him. Okay. Perhaps if this on. game is not going to be won by the rugby, it's going to be won by the fine margins of the whistle. Okay. Over. Line out. Flies a bit towards the hippo's side. Tashobia gathers well in the air. Omar Duff loads. Roll his. away. Go. Second row partner, Brandon Keba. And now the pirates can attack from halfway. Well Chidega fast. Back to the short side. Arnold Atukunda puts it to the boat. Fumbled by Isaac Rujumba. And Atukunda playing the ball on the floor gives away another penalty to the hippo's.
just out of shot is Arnold Atkunda getting a mouthful from his teammates as Haruna Mohamed tries to keep that ball in play. He slaps it forward. Scrum to the hippos. White ball. Yeah. Very juicy territory. Knock on fast. An attempt to keep the ball on. Yeah, just out of the fight. Yeah. Up or down? The fine margins. Corona Mohamed trying to prevent the line hey out. Guys, yeah, just try to keep the scrum up. up. Okay. Don't collapse it. Keep it up. Okay. Okay. Seconds in. Three, two, one. Don't, don't open it up. I'm going to look to me. Okay. Seconds. Bam. Bro! Like Set! Okay. Keep it there. Keep Kuri it up. Spins the ball towards his side. Under that scrummage. Now the back door. Bagalana. Yasin Waswa for Brighton Bakasa. Strong carry on the edge. Haruna Mohamed takes him by the shoulder. It's a penalty try. To the Jinja Hippos, Brighton Bakasa will not take credit for that one as it's a team try, penalty try, full seven points. But Haruna Mohamed will be spending the next 10 minutes in the sin bin for that high tackle. Hippos draw first blood against the Pirates here at Kings Park. Quick transfer of the ball through the hands by the Hippos. And Brighton Bakasa put on the afterburners. Haruna Mohamed could have avoided that, but puts his hand over the shoulder. And what would have been a sure try of five ends up being seven. And now Pirates are a man down halfway through this first half. First water break as well. Marvin Odongo is not at all pleased with his charges today. You can see the way how he's speaking to them with that much energy. They've given away possession, they've given away penalties, and they've considered a try alongside which came a yellow card. Edmond Charisma, on the other hand, has stayed in his technical area but he is monitoring the two, the, his team, the forwards and the packs in discussion separately. He's monitoring them from afar. But Marvin Odog has some decision making to do. How do Pirates fight back? Is Hippo's captain, Andrew Giambo, leading from the front, especially in the set piece. I spoke to Marvin Odongo before kickoff and asked him if he's uh, concerned about how hippos have performed against cobs, against heathens. And the word he chose was cognizant, uh, that he has taken note of their performance. And on the other hand, Charisma, Charisma said that he's, this is a different ball game. He's well aware of the results that they've picked against the two top teams, but Pirates is a whole different ball game. And for the first 20 minutes, it appears that hippos are approaching this the way they did against Cobbs and Heathens. 
But we'll see what the remaining 60 will be like as Conrad Wanyama loses the ball forward with no man in front of him. Julia Sopio now on that open play. This Bagalana to the box again. That's the direction that brought them the first try, but the advantage is not gained. So it's going to be a hip or scrum. Come in, come in, Odiambo. Come, come. Hey. Yeah. Edmond Charisma having a chat, probably more like taking a word from his director of rugby, Tim Grover, at the Hippos. Tim Grover is a. Uh, is an extremely animated gentleman in the stands, tries to stay as far away from the technical area as possible. This Tim Grover, one of the men that have led hippos where they are right now currently in fourth place, still undefeated in the season, but behind the Pirates in third place, who lost the first game to the Heathens. But they, that draw last weekend dropped Hippos from second place to fourth place. We've spoken okay, enough. Probably Wait. not enough about Hippo's 20-all draw against the Heathens, but Paris last weekend got a yeah, huge bonus on. point victory of 42 points Second to against the Warriors yeah. at this ground as well. Rouse! a huge boost to them Set. going into this Good one. crunch tie against the Hippos. But play resumes with a scrum. Wako again looking for William Corey in the number away. 10 channel finds him and gives Hippos a good ball on front foot. Eamon Bagalana isolated and gives away a penalty. Pirates trying to assert their authority on defense and they get a penalty in the back line. Eamon Bagalana carrying it to the line and his support play led to arrive at the scene. I'm not sure if you can hear it, but the Ginger Hippos fans have traveled with a band that has been playing from way before kickoff. It's now 30 minutes past the hour of 4 p.m. local time here and they are still on their feet singing. Fahad Maido still not pleased at all with how he got that injury. I think he's still making his case that the front row of the Pirates could have hurt him as the William Kore goes back door to Molindwa. Molindwa finds a Tukonda on the switch. Pirates just outside the 22. Kore conducting the Pirates attack finds Gongodio. Gongodio stopped in his tracks by Opio. A Mong told to release, does not release, gives away a penalty, and he's not pleased at all, Elifaz Emong. Frank Chidega, without wasting any time, points the uprights, and the kicking tee is brought on. Who will be taking the three for the Pirates? William Kore, Conrad Wanyama, or Frederick Mulindo? I've seen Frederick Mulindo kicking. Kick so well for the Pirates 2 or the Sailors against the Cops. Or Cops 2 a fortnight ago. And I think, yeah, that's Mulindwa. He'll be taking the 3 for the Pirates today. There's a plume of smoke about 10 kilometers. 
to that direction of the pitch and it's going straight up, meaning there's no wind that Mulindo will have to navigate. And the youngster does just that splits the uprights, opens Pirates account against the Hippos. 24 minutes played, Pirates trailing the Hippos by seven points to three. Courtesy of that young man, Frederick Mulindwa. Sinwas were now kicking for the second time in this game. But he skews it past behind the halfway line. And it's going to be a scrum for the Pirates at halfway. What do Paris do this time with the scrum Set. halfway there? Have oh, his yeah. back line. Come with your dome back to the side. To their side, Sydney Gongodio finds Wanyama. Wanyama Odongo with Atukunda on his outside decides to go alone. Brought down by Mugogo. Now Tashobia playing that tip on pass to Nkore. Nkore for Ivan Kabagambe drops the weight on Ayman Bagalana. Pirates continue probing on the outside. Kamiza Jones not able to gather the ball. Pass by William Corey, a bit too far ahead of him, and Hippos have a knock on advantage. Chem Sokelo fighting with Chidega, staying on his feet, Chidega on his knees. Advantage not gained, scrum to the Hippos. But there's that pass from Corey, a bit. Fancy, too fancy for Kamiza Jones to gather and Pirates lose the ball, squander another attacking opportunity. Pirates and Hippos pushing in the scrum, but Hippos maintain possession. Atukunda under the high ball from Bagalana's kick, carrying strong and returns the favor. He's into the 22. And I think that was Silva Kenya giving her a penalty. Entering from the side, but I think I call it Jambo for not rolling away. Atukunda, what a carry from the speedster. Ended up losing a boat in the process as well, and Frederick Murlindo is in the mood. Mulindwa, 100% of the tee. This is going to be his second attempt from the 22-meter line. This time, plumb straight ahead. The wind still in his favor. And with a short run-up, Mulindwa splits the uprights again. Pirates cut the deficit to just one point. If the tries are not going to be made, that young man's boat is going to keep Pirates in the game. Six points to seven. About ten minutes on the clock, taking towards halftime here at Kings Park.
You've seen Waswa with the wrist that goes deep this time. Finds Conrad Wanyama who exits long and past the halfway. Hippos started strong. You've seen Waswa missed the penalty after the first minute. Then they got the penalty try. With that penalty try to Haruna Mohamed in the 25 jersey, he was put some points on the board. They led seven points to nil, but Pirates have taken advantage of that power play and kicked two penalties to reduce that deficit to one point. And now Haruna Mohamed is back. The Pirates are back to a full complement of men. Frank Chidega carrying it straight and forward. William Mukore looking for that space behind Bruno Kisule. He finds the grass, finds the touch. It's going to be a hippo's line out as he was taken back into the 22, into the half rather. Yeah. But what a kick from William Mukore. Yeah. Hippos. One, 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 yeah, yeah. That was a beautiful kick from William Corey. Open, open, open. Dex, yeah, just open up. Open. Pirates into the Hippos 22 and they continue to apply pressure. Yeah. Paul Serenjiti throws to Opio at the front, throws to Odiambo at the front of that line out. There's a contest from Humphrey to Shubia, but Hippos were able Keep to maintain yeah. possession. Good one. Bagalana with the box kick. Under it is Haruna Mohamed. Puts it to the boat and Ar Arnold Atukunda is ahead of him. Another penalty, the second this time, given away by Arnold Atukunda. Now Opio on the outside edge. Brighton Bakasa has space to his outside, cuts back in and meets William Unkore. Bagalana goes for that chip and chest but Kamiza Jones is taken in the air it's advantage to the Pirates now Bambale at full throttle fends off Rujumba and brought down by Sean Muviru Wanyama scanning his options finds Gongodi on the outside Gongodio toying with Odiambo takes three men to bring him down Gongodio now, Bambale again, second carry in the same sequence of play. Pirates have the advantage and the full penalty as well. For not releasing, says the referee. The Pirates have a wind in their sails now. They look, they're looking to close out the second half on the front, the first half on the front foot. And William Corey. Yet again, finds good touch for the Pirates. Back inside the 22, but the line out this time is for the team in black as Mkore. Having returned to the playing squad for the first time what? since the Uganda yeah. Cup. Yeah. Or oh, probably even before. As part of that extended training squad of the Uganda men's sevens who are taking part in the World Rugby Sevens Challenger. Two weeks time, they will be traveling to Montevideo White. in South hey, hey. America White. for the second round. White jumper, just open, open, open. Good. Has been released by Tol Batonyango to represent the Paris today. There he is in play. Back inside to Atukunda from Omar Duff. Slow ball. Wanyama. Kore for Gongodio. Gongodio has two men outside. Does not use them. There was an opportunity for the try. Haruna Mohamed damming and carrying forward. Pirates about three meters short of the try line. Chidega. Forced backwards by Elifa Zemong. Wanyama, slow ball. Looking for a running man. Finds Omar Duff on the angle. And then to the short side, Haruna Mohamed. Going alone and loses that ball forward. Haruna Mohamed, a bit unnecessary, trying to do too much. Coming off the bench. 
coming off the scene bin actually. And what would have been a good possession for the Pirates goes begging. A bit uncharacteristic from the Pirates to let those chances go by. In such a game there won't be many Hippos are hanging on and hanging on strong to their one point lead against the Pirates. Five minutes on the clock to the halftime whistle. What a scrimmage from the Pirates. A penalty goes their way. All the eight men pushing strong and forward. And Conrad Wanyama again exchanging. Some greetings with short movie Roo. Frank Chidega calls for a second scrum. But this has been one of the sticking points for the hippos. They've not done well in the scrum and also last weekend as well against the hippos. Against the heathens. of their back line. Timothy Odong is in first receiver in his pocket. Just exactly behind him is William Okori. And then there's those two attacking platforms. Kamiza Jones in the number 13 jersey. Then to the back, Mulindwa with Haruna Mohamed. And hugging the touchline is Arnold Atukunda. So... Will it be a cross kick? Will it be a quick transfer to the back? Or will the forwards keep it at their feet? Sydney Gongodio pushing forward. The Pirates are just a few meters short. The referee's hand is out. Gongodio, will he ground it? Wanyama attempted to ground it. But Umar Balikanda makes a slight counter to the uprights. Awards the penalty try to the Pirates and touches his pockets. There's a player who will be going to the bin from the Hippos front row. It's Sean Mubiru that will be spending the rest of this first half and a bit of the second half in the sin bin for that scrum penalty. Paris now lead. 13.7. Against the Hippos, three minutes to play in this first half. There's Sean Mubiru. There's not much he could have done, to be honest, with that pressure from Ivan Kabagambe, Gambale, and Alema Rueza. The Hippos front row were just passengers at that scrummage. Had they not given away the penalty try, they would have given away the five points without a doubt. Ball lost in the air by Humphrey Tashovia. From that, Julius Opio contest in the air. Opio is, uh, I think, maybe about six feet tall. So he's such a tool for the hippos in the air. Now Rujumba has played for the Pirates before he crossed the Nile to the hippos. Elifaz Mong brought down by the smallest man on the pitch. Humphrey Tashovia, now the back door. Yasin Waswa, Andrew Diambo tops it on to Owen Mugogo, but Owen Mugogo not able to gather. Loses that ball forward. And Pirates live to die another day. Hippos unable to convert that precious possession into points. Maybe one thing of note is that that Pirates technical area, technical bench likes their headgear. Leonard Nkubito with the bucket hat and then Chimeze at the front, Marvin Odong there as well with the caps. But there's that tip on pass, good soft skills from Andrew Diambo, but Owen Mugogo not able to gather.
I had my door is back on. And off comes David Wako. Try to in the second half we try to make go, go, the go, go. As, uh, yeah. Sean Muriru came on. Mm. It's a front row. In the game, I think five yeah. minutes or so. Barely five, so it, it's a technical okay, change. Okay, second. Allowed to come back on. <laughs> in the case that is in the Rugby World Cup final yeah. between Second in. New Zealand. Yeah. So the... Yeah. The hippos have been forced into making a change there as we get... Adrian. Some clarification from the assistant referees and their match commissioner. Oh, and Mugogo off. Yeah. It's a sub for the scrum. Mm. And then now back on as David So it comes to the scrum. Mm. Mm. He's urged by his. Uh, yes, it's a scrum sub. Eh? Yes. Let's go. Mm. Okay. Get off the field. Okay, we go. I think it's uh, no, no, no. We are contesting. It's a we are contesting. That's forced yes. by that scene bin to okay, show the rule. Okay. Last play. Once there's a scrum, you cannot opt for an uncontested scrum. So you take off a player. Ground. And bring on a front row specialist player. Bye. Had to come back on. Set. Okay. And that Point. means had to take off a player. David Wako not playing, but it is him. But the hippos with the yellow card and the scrum, they have to play with. Youth! Another man out. Okay. But that is the last play of the first half. As Conrad Wanyama puts it into touch. And not sure if you saw that in short there. Fahad Maido took that opportunity that he got back onto the field to make his feelings known to Ivan Kawagambe for that early injury. But after an extended 40 minutes of play, it is the Pirates who have the upper hand against the Ginger Hippos in a very tight encounter here at Kings Park. They lead by 13 points to 7. Don't go away. We'll be back in the second half.
Just to talk to the guys and tell them the elbow doesn't lead. Okay? You can train, but don't lead. Talk to them. Bola. And the, the, so far they are told me among and yeah, Mara. Good. Okay, okay time. The 10 minutes break at half time. And upon us is the 40 minutes of the second half. Pirates. With the restart. And Corey goes short. It pops back onto their side, but Brandon Keba not able to regather. And that's going to be a hippo scrum. Seconds in. This is how they started the first half. The hippos. Round. With a scrum after the ball has been fumbled in the air. Bye. The Can they set points on the board? Hold. Hold. This time. Odiendo. Fix. There's Bakasa running at the angle. Breaks the tackle of Conrad Wanyama. Bakasa is such a ferocious ball carrier. Now the backs in play. Yasin Waswa found by Mugogo. Cuts back inside. Concordia is contesting. Is cleared off that breakdown. Bagalana for Odiambo. Odiambo caught behind the gain line. Wanyama the first to pounce but not able to gather that ball. Sidney Gongodio still on the floor. Now on his knees and then on his feet as, as this Bagalana goes to the air. Fumbled the ball by Nathan Bwambale. But Pirates just about managed to maintain possession. Slow set, Conrad Wanyama looking for a good platform to get that kick through. Wambale now wrestling with Bakasa, staying on his feet. And now finally on the floor after gaining an extra five meters. With that carry, Wanyama gives away. Gives away free kick to the hippos for feigning. I've seen yeah. this a couple of okay. times. He's the damning first time the he's penalized Get for it. Do that. Yeah. Feigning just before the kick. Now well, he passed them on with a strong carry. Skips past Tashobia and brought down by Brandon Keba. As Kabagambi attempts to make a mess at that breakdown. Julia Sopio, long ball to Isaac Rujumba, into Nkore and Frank Chidega. With the tackle just outside the 22. Maido now. Hippos into the 22. Strong carry. They have the advantage as well. Elifaz Zemong over the gain line. Back to the short side. Brighton Bakasa looking for work in the midfield. Hippos playing backwards, but they still have the advantage and the possession. Now, Andrew Diambo, advantage not materializing. They will take the penalty. What a start for the Hippos in the second half. Like we said earlier, this is how they started the first. Can they put points on the board? Now, what's the decision? As this Bagalana points to the corner. Yasin Waswa will be finding touch with that penalty. As the wind now picks up. You can see the, the flagpoles, the teardrop banners motion just behind the try line so the conditions becoming more tricky as the sun sets here in Wakiso district Ojambo at the front of the line out and carrying it forward just five meters away James Okello Brought down by Chidega. Back to the short side. Maido. 
Double tackle of Conrad Wanyama and Alema Ruweza not able to bring him down in one go. But they managed to force him, Elifaz Emong, into Omar Duff. With Tashobia clutching at his bootlaces back inside to Andrew Diambo. Second time he's running that angle. Now Ayman Bagala, now there's a man on the outside, Bruno Kisule. Stopped in his tracks by Arnold Atukunda. What defense from the winger. Chisule ran out of real estate. And Atukunda might have saved the Pirates. Yeah. 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 So scrum down. The ugly start that they had in the first half. Scrum down. It's going to be a scrum down to the Hippos for tackling the man without the ball. But there's that try saving tackle from Arnold Atukunda. Five minutes of non stop right rugby, and the first stoppage is due to an injury break. Captain Frank Chidega needing some medical attention. It's going to be a blood replacement for blood. Frank Chidega. And blood on comes Moses Olway. Yeah, he's supposed to. Yeah. Pirates have been forced to make a change for that blood replacement. Preparing to come on is yeah. Moses Olue. He's a utility player for the Pirates, has played at the wing, but most of his formative years have been at the flank, and that's the role he's going to be playing for the moment that Frank Chidega will be out. So play resumes with a hippo scrum. Pagalana feeds Paris attempting to apply pressure but not successful. This time Odiambo carries just past the gain line. Now the backs, Mugogo, back door. Yasin Waswa looking for that kick. Actually, that was Ayman Bagalana. But his kick not accurate. And Brighton Bakasa, in his attempt to gather it, kicks it into touch. There's that back door move. Pagalana, a little bit too high for Bakasa. And he was forced to put it into touch. Frustration for the hippos. Points go begging. Trying to understand wait, what's wait, wait. in that phase of play captain there now? is Haruna. Who is captain now? Who is your captain now? Who? Who is your captain now? Yeah. Barrett the captain. playing Come. without their captain. Aziz. Come. So, to start with, you can't have a quick throw because it's a different ball. Okay? Happy. You can't yeah. have a quick throw. So, he had, he had ten. so whatever you guys did after here is nonsense. Clean it up and we play. Okay. 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 Yeah, there's Aruna, Mohamed, and Julius Opio. Just the limit with the referee. Stay where you are. Um, Time off. Now Wait. with uh, Adunama, the standing captain. His last contribution was to listen to the referee. As he asserted his authority there with the off the ball antics from the players. Stephen Alou comes on for the Pirates. Roll out. Penalty to the Pirates now for Takla not rolling away. Corey goes long and deep, finds touch at the 10 meter line. 
inside Hippo's territory. Yeah. What a kick from William Hippos. Corey. Pirates are yeah. missing their yeah. they are number 10 and ex Maybe. captain Ivan Magomo who is serving his four yeah. week yeah. suspension. Sub. Time off. Sub. For bringing the game into disrepute. And what a timely return okay. from Corey. Especially now, in moments like this when they need man. a sure boot. And a much more clinical playmaker. Line out to be taken by the Paris as Sean Mubiru comes back onto the playing field. Steven Alul sells the dummy in his first contribution of the game. Cuts straight through the hippo's defense back to the short side. There's no man as all the forwards had overloaded on the open side. Nathan Bambale isolated but the rack is cleared well by his support player. Olueny, Haruna Mohamed selling a dummy. And Pirates are now inside the Hippos 22. Steven Alul, another dummy, finds Brandon Keba. And Keba is caught by Owen Mogogo. Turnover to the Hippos. Andrew Diambo taps and goes quickly. Finds Bakasa nearly through. But what a tackle from Moses Olwen. And does this Bagalana a little too ambitious to gain that territory? Kicks it straight into touch. Lineout will be back at the mark where he kicked from. What a sequence of play. Those two changes by the Pirates bringing some oof in their attack. Steven Alul and Moses Olwen. William Nkore fumbles the ball after that clean take in the line out the entire Pirates backline was ready to play that ball but Nkore took his eyes off the ball for a moment and he was will have the scrum Frank Chidega is ready to come back on with his head fully strapped, Moses Olwen's five minutes or so as a blood replacement were on good account. I think Olwen is entitled to returning after that blood replacement. So this will probably not be the last time we see of him in the match today. Ayman Bagalana for Mugogo fumbles the ball and thumped by Frederick Mulindwa. Brandon Keba does not make enough effort to go low in that tackle on Brighton. Bakasan gives away a penalty for the high tackle. There's no excuse for height. You need to make the effort to go low as Isaac Rujumba breaks through the Pirates defense, tackled by Timothy Odong. He landed on the ball and has stayed on the floor, whimpering in pain. But Hippos continue to attack Julius Opio for Sean Mubiru. Just at the 22, Hippos go back to the short side. Andrew Diambo has Kisule outside. Finds him with the offload after contact. Elifaz Zemong now. Opio too early. As this Bagalana instead goes to Maido. And still on his foot with David Wako riding that support player. And there's a penalty to the Pirates for playing the ball on the floor. I think there's, that's Paul Sirinjiti there. There's Julius Opio overshooting. And now Sirinjiti with David Wako on his shoulder. Strong carry. Ivan Bakambe makes the tackle. And Sirinjiti plays the ball on the floor, giving away a penalty to the Pirates.
there's that barnstorming run from Isaac Rujumba and the tackle by Timothy Odongo. I think Rujumba landed on the ball in his mid section. It's one of the most painful regions on the human body. The hippos are preparing to bring on a lethal man off the bench, Fidela Remo. Isaac Rujumba back on his feet, but that man in the number 20 jersey, Fidel Aremo, will be waiting his turn to get back on to, to get on to the playing field. William Nkore finds touch, but before play resumes, it's going to be a substitution for the hippos. Fidel Aremo on. Trying to figure out whose replacement he is. Matches all the way to Isaac Rujumba. And Isaac Rujumba with a gentle shake of his head. Will make his way off the playing field as the Pirates resume play with that line now. Timothy Odongo now. Carrying it straight into the forwards, hits the deck. And dated to release are the Hippos players on defense. William Corey in the pocket, looking for that long 50 22 kick. And he finds it. What a kick from Mkore. A brilliant 50 22. Recognize that Bruno Chisule was short, and Yasin Wasa was covering that inside channel. Puts the ball to the boat. Beautiful kick for the Pirates. Look at that ball in the air. You're seeing one, so a little too, little too late. As the ball bounces onto the playing field and into touch. Pirates line out. Inside the Hippos 22, about 10 meters away from the try line. But the line out is stolen by Julius O'Pierre in the air. Hippos can exit their red zone with a box kick from Aziz Bagalana. But instead, this time he goes to Yasin Wasa for the better angle. Yasin Wasa keeps it on the playing field. Stephen Alul gathers, finds Timothy Odong on a short pass. Odong with a charging run he back inside the 22 Pirates. Half numbers are plenty on the outside, and again, William Mkore not able to gather. Another try scoring opportunity for the Pirates goes begging. Andrew Diambo now for the Hippos. Bagalana looking for that space behind, but it's well covered by Haruna Mohamed. Haruna Mohamed has Kamiza Jones on the outside. Three against one, Kamiza Jones isolated. But Haruna Mohamed maintains possession with the clearance at the rack. Now, Nathan Bwambale. Straight through the middle and then back to the short side. Sydney Gongodio. Another run across. The Hippos defense, Brighton Bakasa, equal on defense, forces him into touch. Wow, what rugby from these two teams. Pirates with a win. Double loss and double win run of form. Hippos with a loss, triple win and a draw run of form. This is what we came for here at Kings Park. Two teams playing their best rugby. The Sydney Congodio, after breaking through the lines, could not manage to break the tackle of Brighton Bakasa. But the Pirates had the advantage for offside and Frederick Mulindwa who slotted two penalties in the first half will have an opportunity to slot a third and stretch Pirates lead from just six points to beyond a try as in short there are unfamiliar scenes Sh 
Edmond Caresmo having to be held back by his own players in frustration. I think with Isaac Rujumba, Edmond Caresmo. But meanwhile, at that moment, <laughs> Frederick Mulindwa, what a kick! Mulindwa splits the uprights, Paris leading by 16 points to 7. Still struggling to understand what happened there. Fahad Maido holding his coach, Edmond Karezma, back. The frustration might have come from Isaac Rujumba at the back there. And it's still ongoing, but Hippos have to play on. Edmond Karezma has to be calmed down by his director of rugby, Tim Grover. And yet again, another kickoff. Paris are Rallies, able to let's go. gather the giveaway. A scrum advantage to the Hippos. Let's go. James Okello. Okay, off the ball. Now off to the, the box. Eamon yeah. Bagalana trying to find yeah. Andrew Diambo, but Diambo bounces the ball off his chest and it's a pirate scrum inside their own half. If anything, that internal disagreement, especially with the head coach, Edmond Karezma, might, might have just disoriented the hippos at a time when they needed to be fighting as one strong unit. They now trail the Pirates by 16 points to 7. penalty to the hippos the pirates front row standing up in that scrum andrew diambo points to the uprights it's going to be a 45 minute meter kick for yasin waswa against the wind but instead they go to the corner the easy decision and the safer decision actually uh, advancement in territory and maintaining possession inside the Pirates 22. in the air by the Pirates. So it's going to be a scrum to the Hippos. As one of the crowd favorites, Edgar Pajob completes his warm-up. Pirates warm up in some sleeveless vests, but Edgar Pajob does so in his personal kit. And even then the Pirates home kit, the black kit does not fit, so he has to play in the away kit. Job Edgar, but he's making his way back slowly by slowly, and perhaps by the time we get to the playoffs, he will be much fit and ready to go the full 80. David Wako for the Hippos, however, at the back of that scrum, carrying it straight forward for the Hippos. Bagalana scans his options, finds Elifaz among to the right, scanning again Bagalana. Shot to David Wako. The penalty goes against the Pirates for not releasing. Omar Rudaf gives away the penalty. Hippos have 
a decision to make. Do they tap and go? Do they go for the points? They tap and go. Elifaz Zemong found by Captain Aziz Bagalana advances to the five meter territory. Now to the left side, Andrew Diambo nearly slipped through the defense. Now Wako again, third carry. There's a Paris player with his hands on the ball, told to release. Julia Sopio through the middle. Is he over the whitewash? Just short. Odiambo now with Okello. Odiambo is over for the Hippos. That small force from James Okello enabled Odiambo to go over, and Hippos have struck the uprights. I've struck Pirates under the uprights. Conversion to come, it is 16 points to 12. What a player Andrew Diambo is. One of the most unsung heroes, not just for the hippos, but in Ugandan rugby. He has found home from across the border in Kenya. And he's slowly but steadily leading hippos in a strong charge this season. Yasin was a convert easily. And Pirates lead is cut to two points. Well over the hour mark. As in short there you can see how Fritashovia are urging the Pirates players to keep their heads high. And battle on it's still holidays and this match can be anyone's. William Corey going deep. He has the wind on his side. It pushes the ball straight into touch. So scram to the Hippos. Pirates appear to have been cracked by the Hippos. Hippos appear to have recovered from that internal scuffle they had in their technical area. Marvin Odongo usually enjoys his Saturdays, but today is not one of them. It has been a stiff challenge from the Hippos, and they have the possession to probably inflict more damage. Owen Mugogo now has enjoyed a good game with his opposite number, Frederick Mulindwa. Back to James Okello. After shaping up from the back of that scrum, Nathan Bambale, Frank Chidegarada is the first with his hands on the ball. And he earns that turnover. Frank Chidega. Sometimes it's the the Paris from the strong, from the front. But he's on his knees after that contact. White. About 15 minutes yeah. on the clock, probably yeah. fewer on the referee's stopwatch. Yeah. As Chidega has had another is it? contact to his Wait. head, I think. Time off. I think Chidega, the same point of contact from the earlier collision needs to be attended to again. Moses Oluen can still come back on as his re potential replacement. And meanwhile, it's discussions and strategizing from the Pirates leadership group. They're being taunted by Eliphaz Mong. Lifaz Mong and Sidney Gongodio will be leaving the country soon. They're supposed to have left about 
two or so weeks ago, but there are a couple of delays with their travel arrangements that have kept them in the country alongside five other players. They're going for a residential camp in partnership with the Vodacom Blue Bulls in Pretoria. Uganda Rugby Union will be sending Time seven players okay. to South Africa in preparation for the Rugby Africa Cup. Wait, wait, wait! For which wait. Uganda won the bid Good. against Namibia and Algeria okay. to host the next two editions. Paris lineout as play resumes. It goes to Chidega, but Julius Opio gets his hands on the ball before him. Bakasa finds Fidel Aremo. Aremo is a strong ball carrier. Slicing through the Pirates defense. Forced into touch by Timothy Odongo on the cross covering defense. But what a band storming run from Fidel Aremo. Combining with Brighton Bakasa, we saw how dangerous they can be against Heathens last weekend. Pirates have only got just a sample today at King's Park. Who is going to blink first? Pirates or Hippos? Line out not gathered by Humphrey Tashobia. Sidney Gongodio regathers, but is penalized for leading with his elbow. Odiambo restarts quickly. Hippos fans on their feet. Pirates fans on their feet as well. Bagalana for Siringiti through the middle, but tackled by Umar Duff, now recycled for Wako. Tackled by Chidega. Has that ball been lost on the floor? Everyone's players' hands are up. The call goes to the Pirates for the penalty. Holding on, Gongoja winning that. Haruna taps and goes, puts it to the boot. Might have overcooked it as it's going to bounce straight into the in-goal area. And you can see the disappointment from the Pirates' front row. Alema Rueza and Ivan Kawagambe not at all impressed with Haruna Muhammad. But what do the hippos do now with a scrum inside pirate territory? Hippos have made the change. David Wako comes off and then Faz among not on. happy as well with the change. Seconds in. Yeah. Long bind. Yeah. I stand long? Yes, that long. He has been forced to switch to the number eight position. Oh. Second. To try and figure out who has come on to the second row. Could be the number eight player. Bind. We'll just wait for confirmation of that change. Among in the number eight position, not familiar. Sydney Gongodio latches onto him way after the ball has been passed, but Bakasa gathers that ball that Among offloaded to him. James Okello now. Aremo on the short side. Hippos are attacking. Siringiti played 80 minutes last weekend. He's probably on his way to playing another 80. Staying on his feet and gaining valuable meters for the Hippos. Slow ball to a monk. Unable to skip past Humphrey Tashobia this time, but that deploys the backs in open space. Owen Mugogo this time beats Molindwa and offloads to Yasin Waswa. Yasin Waswa with Andrew Odiambo on his shoulder. Odiambo skips past Steven Alul, but throws a loose pass on the outside. And Arnold Atukunda tackles Bruno Chisule, now William Unkore. And my oh my. What attack from the Hippos, but what a ferocious defense from the Pirates. There's Mkore trying to force Chisule into touch after that strong tackle by Arnold Atukunda, who was already back on his feet.
Kipo's fans can barely breathe. Next weekend, in March, on the 2nd of March, Pirates will be away against the Mongas in Entebbe. And the Hippos will go back home to take on the Eagles. As Pirates make a change. Raymond Molindwa, who has kicked three penalties for the Pirates, has had such a good game. Raymond Molindwa, nine points off his boat, and a handshake from his coach could be the difference for the Pirates today. Molindwa, but on comes Jeremiah Joseno. As he was restart play with the scrum at the feet of Elkazano, now in his hands, looking for Jeremiah Joseno, but finds Timothy Odongo, rips the ball straight out of his hands, Timothy Odongo. Lefaze Monk stays on the floor, whimpering in pain, but Odongo has lost that ball on the floor, and he stays down as well. Time will be off to attend to the two players. Lefaze Monk in very, very much pain. But let's look at that trip from Timothy Odongo just before Emong hit the floor. I think it was the action of that trip that hurt Emong. Tim Grover, perhaps checking the stopwatch to see how much time Hippos have left to stage an upset against the Pirates. They beat Cobbs on the first day. They drew with Hippos on the third. What can they do to the Pirates on the fourth? There's the Pirates fans, Irivajis are David, lost for words.
Elifaze Mong marches to the ambulance. Hopefully we will be able to see him returning. Takes off the knee brace, the neck brace rather. But in the meantime, his replacement will be Abu Kaima in the number 18 jersey. Play resumes with the uh, scrum for the Hippos. Andrew Diambo caught by William Corey. Nail biting from here on. None of the teams will want to give away any points as it can change the tide and the result of the game. Kaima loses that ball forward in contact after that tackle from Ruweza. There's the front row with Ivan Kabagambe putting all their weight. Second row forcing that handling error. Pirates now have a scrum. What do they do with it? Do they attack from inside their half? Do they kick it deep to play deep inside Hippo's territory? William Corey, the number 10, is at scrum half. The playmakers, Pirates, have in the back line are plenty Haruna Mohamed, Stephen Alul, and Jeremiah Josenu. Do they go to the short side? Do they go to the open side? Gongodio picks, goes to the short side, breaks the first tackle, is brought down in the second one. And I think there, that's Bruno Chisule giving away a penalty for not supporting his own body weight. Haruna Mohamed taps quickly and goes. Advances an extra 10 meters for the Pirates. Mkore for Josenu. Josenu finds Bambale in open space. Humphrey, rather Frank Tidega now. Arnold Atukunda brings down Owen Mugogo. And it's a penalty against Atukunda for leading with his elbow. Now Bakasa st starting quickly offloads to Mugogo tackled by Joseno and the penalty goes against the Hippos for holding on turnover by the captain Frank Chidega and what a man Chidega he has taken a heavy beating today but he's still able to pull off such clutch moments for the Pirates What does Edmund Charisma do now? Takes a look at his wristwatch. There's not much time left for the Hippos. They trail by 2 points, 16 to 14 against the Pirates. This lineout will chew about 30 seconds off that time. As Frank Chidega again gets attended to but play will continue. Pirates playing with 14 men. Slow line out. Tashobia beaten again in the air by Julia Sopio. Now Brighton Bakasa from deep inside his own territory. Isolated turnover one by Umar Duff in front of the uprights. Brighton Bakasa, a bit of more than he could do. Walked straight into the waiting arms of Omar Duff. William Corey will be going for the uprights. There's Bakasa running across. Tackled. By Nkore. And that turnover by Omar Duff. Not very many men can get his hands off the ball from there. 
Hip was trailing by two points. It could turn into five after this William Corey penalty from about 15 meters. Corey. The flags go up. Corey is sure off his brand new pair of boots. And the Pirates extend their lead to five points against the Hippos. 19 to 14, the score. And finally, after taking a heavy beating, the Pirates captain, Frank Chidega, has been withdrawn from the match. On comes Moses Olwen. And off as well was Ivan Kabagambe for Alvin Rokondo. And yet again today, Pirates not able to regather that restart. Sean Mubiru and Siringiti fumbling the ball between them. But Hippos maintain possession. Yes, seen was in open space. Hippos have the advantage. Isolated in contact again in front of Nathan Bambale, but the turnover doesn't count for a penalty for the tip tackle. Pagalana taps and goes now. Andro Diambo, the try scorer in the second half. Julia Sopio has been instrumental in the lineout for the Hippos. Forced backwards by Brandon Keba. Now the Bucks. Eman Bagalana isolated, tackled by. Josenu. Fidel Aremo not able to gather that pass. Timothy Odong puts it to the boot. It's a fortress as Pirates clear their own red zone. Yasin was not able to gather. Haruna Mohamed extends it another 10 meters. Aremo behind his own in goal area and into touch in goal. Pirates turning defense into attack and they are rewarded with a 5 meter attacking scrum. The game has turned on its heels. From a fair contest with both teams. But look at that. Fidel Aremo not able to gather. Timothy Odong gets there before him. Puts it to the boot. A fortress that is won momentarily by Yasin Waswa. He gets to the ball first. But the bounce of the over ball. Tricky for him. And it is in the favor of Haruna Mohamed. Fidel Aremo manages to just about regather. But he ran out of space. The two men chasing him, Timothy Odongo, tackles him, and Aremo lands in touch in goal. Scrum to the Pirates. They can put the game to bed with points from this attacking set play. They can deny the Hippos the losing bonus point from this scrum down. But they need to make it count, the Pirates. into the dying seconds of this game. Probably even less on the referee's watch. The ball pops up on the side of the hippos and they have the advantage from the scrum. Offside against William Nkore. Penalty to the hippos. But they need to advance 95 meters to win this game. Three of the penalty will not be enough probably five will not be enough they need seven to get the maximum points today and now they start with Andrew Jambo from inside their 22 oh when Mugogo sits Arnold Hatukunda down just outside the 10 Odiambo again isolated but the rack is well secured Yasin Waswa, Ayman Bagalana caught by Alema Ruweza and Moses Olwenyi. Aremo, can he make amends with ball in hand this time? Tackled by Nkore but stays on his feet. 
slowly pumping forward are the hippos, Andro Diambo. Hippos have the advantage for not releasing. As this Bagalana taps and goes quickly, finds Bakasa. Bakasa caught just at halfway, but pirates are not 10 meters back, and hippos have the advantage. They've come from their five meter line, they are now at halfway. They have another 50 meters to advance the hippos. Tapping and going. Ball has to stay alive and in play. Andro Diambo on the 10 meter line. Bagalana for Siringiti. Tackled by Jeremiah Joseno and forced back to the halfway line. James Okello sits Umar Duff down <laughs> in one of the biggest hits you'll ever see. Now Fidela Remo. Pirates on the counter rock and they turn over possession. William Ukore boots it into touch. And that is the full time whistle from center referee Umar Balikanda. Pirates have denied hippos a huge upset today at Kings Park. Pirates have stood their ground and defended home turf at Kings Park. Led, of course, by that man, William Unkore, with the support of their fans, who have finally found their voice. They were pressed fallen about 10 minutes ago. They have stood tall in this challenge and they come out on top. What a fight from the hippos. Came here. Battled for all the points they led early in the game. They have now just had to settle for the losing bonus point against the Paris. What a charge from the team side. Beat Cobbs in the opening game, drew with Hippos in the third round. In the fourth round, rather. And now, in the third round, and now in the fourth, they've got a losing bonus point against the Pirates. Unfortunately, it is their first defeat in the season. But this is a true statement of what to expect from this team, especially from youngsters like that man. Ayman Bakalana. But after an exciting 80, minute, 80 minutes of play, it is the Pirates who have come out on top. They have beaten the Ginger Hippos by 19 points to 14.
Rugby will kill you. That you will have to work on in the next weekend. I think we have beaten Kairosra, but we can't play the other two us. So we should start with the other as well. We shall work on it. That's why I said it's a very good match. All right, good stuff. Uh, you got a draw at home against the Ennis. And now, I know you fought until the end and you were fighting for the win. How are you back for yourselves against the Beacons? When do you think you will get there and you get that victory against the Beacons? The best way to get the next box. But now you're fighting for the titles. How do you think you worked out to find that you will be about the Beatles? I'd love to have seen you welcome for your game. And now we'll have the right from the captain of the Summit Club Pirates. Fun together. You look like you are a captain from fighting here in the arena, but how was those eight minutes, man? We go again. Second take. Black Pirates <laughs> head coach Mahino Dongo. Uh, like we were saying, the number of moments that we saw you on the broadcast today, you were so frustrated with your players. How tough was today's game? Uh, look, we, my frustration was with uh, them failing to do the most simple things, the things that we, we, we practice every now and then. Um, but I mean, it, it delivered the results, so I guess uh, it wasn't so bad after all. Um, the game was a tough one, definitely. Uh, hippos are, I mean, they've come for the big boys now. And uh, it's, it's good to see because it's good to see that competition. It's good to see uh, some of the big boys turn up. Uh, unfortunately, I think they had a few injuries that might have affected how they play. But uh, I hope uh, the players will get back uh, stronger and better. Yeah. Before the match, I asked you what you thought about Hippo's performance against the top three. And you said you are cognizant about hippos and their charge. Uh, how much character did your players show to stop that charge from the hippos? Yeah, I mean, I mean uh, it was stopped. Yeah, yeah. A number of turnovers in there when the hippos actually had the momentum. And, and that, was, that, that was quite something. So for me, I'm just glad that they were able to turn up like that. Um, of course, this is only just uh, a, a, a step in... in, in in our plan to, to win the league again, to win the championship, sorry. Um, so, winning this game, yes, it's very good. It's a good feeling that uh, we've won the game today. But, of course, we want to win the championship. So, this is only something that we're going to learn from. It's just a stepping stone for us. We'll go and take lessons from this game, definitely. We did not, we did not execute um, our play as well as we hoped we would. Uh, so, yeah, that, 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 that's, that's that. One word about the Pirates' conveyor belt, and especially Raymond Mulindo and uh, Frederick Mulindo had nine points off his boot today. Perhaps the difference that Pirates needed to win the game. Ah, yeah, the conveyor belt is, uh, we're oiling it. We hope it can uh, keep sending us beautiful players. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Freddie had a, had a good game. Um, this was his, uh, I think, third or fourth game running out. And I'm just proud of him. He, he, 
the dice in his veins. He was cool. He did not panic. And, and uh, I guess it was a good thing. So I'm, I'm happy for him. And I hope to see him play a lot more games for us. Uh, right. Thank you very much, coach. Congratulations on the win and good luck in the rest of the season. Uh, cheers. Thanks a lot. Uh, And now, uh, Ginger Hippo's head coach, Edmond Charisma. I would like to begin by asking about the situation that was in your technical area. If you could please uh, share with us uh, what could have happened. Yeah, you know, it's a game of uh, high tempos. And you know, when it's high tempo game, tempers fly. And uh, it was just about a little temper, but then we got it capped and now we are good to go. That nearly, nearly stopped Hippo's charge and uh, fight back against the Pirates. But on the playing field, your players have shown character against the Pirates today and brought a performance that you'll be proud of. I mean, we're always a team of character. It has been showing in the last few games. We have been a team that is fighting. We have been working on it. And I'm glad to say it's starting to come out. Uh, it, was, it isn't the best result we expected today. We got a few things wrong tactically. And uh, I'm hoping we're going to go back, revise everything, and we will be good to go. Last weekend, your strong point was at the breakdown against the Heathens. Today, Pirates had an answer to your, and your, your skills at the breakdown. Where else do you think the Pirates have gotten the edge over you today? I, I mean, their scrum was that heavy. We give it up to them. Yeah, they bossed us around the, squ the scrum for a few times. But uh, as well, we had ours also going. We had a few good balls come through there. So I think uh, the edge just, just about with the scrum. A few more cages in there they added. And we didn't have an answer to that, but we're going to go back and build. I believe by the time we get to the uh, semis uh, quarters, we'll be good to go. We'll be up to the task. Beating Cobbs on the first day, drawing with Heathens on the third day, and now a losing bonus point against the Pirates. These are the big three in Ugandan rugby. What message does this send to the rest of the championship? I mean, they should know we are coming in. We are knocking on the doors. Uh, they need to work hard as we're working harder, because it's going to be... Uh, a uh, long, long season to go. But yeah, we're working on everything good and we are shaping ourselves for the better. A uh, couple of years ago, this was a no contest, but now we're giving the fans proper rugby and that's what we are working for. That's what Hippos is for. Tough, tough luck today here at Kings Park, but would like to wish you all the best uh, for the remainder of the season. Thank you very much. Thank you. Always a pleasure to talk to you guys. Yeah, Thank you.